The new Washington Post article finds an endorsement from Latino pop star Bad Bunny could have a major effect on the 2024 election. It comes after stars like Taylor Swift and Billie Eilish endorse Vice President Harris, while stars like Kid Rock and Billy Ray Cyrus are throwing their support behind former President Trump. Washington Post writer Sabrina Rodriguez joins me now for more on this. Sabrina, thanks for coming on. What made you look into this? Are you expecting Bad Bunny to endorse a presidential candidate? We don't have the expectation yet that he's necessarily going to be endorsing, but it started just coming up after that Taylor Swift endorsement, hearing more and more Latino Democrats bring up, okay, wait, but where is Bad Bunny? Is he considering endorsing? Will he endorse? I mean, it's not something that is surprising for him to be involved in politics. I mean, over the years, he has talked about um, several liberal causes that would put him in line with Kamala Harris, and he has been critical of Donald Trump, especially um, in the wake of Hurricane Maria seven years ago. So it it sort of started to come up in, in that organic way of hearing Latino Democrats say, OK, wait, but should we be courting him? Is there already an effort ongoing to court him? And with the conversation that we see happening nationally and in the key battleground states around Latino voters, it feels like this is sort of that natural push of, OK, Democrats were able to secure Taylor Swift. And we've seen in the past the impact that she can have in getting people to turn out and register to vote. Um, so, so naturally, sort of now there's this push to see if they can convince him as well to come out. Now, you write about how Bad Bunny is not apolitical. He speaks out most often on issues relating to Puerto Rico. So how did you find that impacts his influence? I mean, that has been, we've sort of seen him over the years and as he got involved in, in, you know, in music and sort of became one of the, the biggest superstars in the world. We've just seen him really lean into that. And actually on the day that our article came out, he actually put out a song called Una Velita that is focused on it's sort of a protest anthem and, and talking about the situation and politics um, in Puerto Rico. Now in Puerto Rico, I mean, Puerto Ricans can't vote for the United States president, even though they're as a US territory, they can't do that. But given the number of Puerto Ricans living in the United States that can vote, um, and especially that number that we see in battleground states like Pennsylvania, um, we've heard him as well just talk about issues that resonate with Puerto Ricans living on the mainland. So what's at stake for celebrities who choose to endorse a candidate in a race like this? I mean, the biggest challenge, I think, is, is for an artist like Bad Bunny, he does have to answer sort of to the folks in Puerto Rico. And I mean, this is a, a, this is an island that has been still recovering from Hurricane Maria seven years ago. And, and just given the, the nature of it being a U.S. territory and the debate that has been ongoing about, you know, statehood versus independence in Puerto Rico, he'd be sort of wading into those unique politics. But so that adds a whole other layer to it. But then when you look at artists that are coming out and endorsing, I mean, it does put them in this position where if you're one of the biggest artists in the world, that means that you have supporters who may be voting for Donald Trump, that may be voting for Kamala Harris. You obviously have supporters that live in other countries and are just following along on what's happening in the United States presidential election. Um, so it does put them in a unique position to, to sort of be criticized from the left and the right. Um, but we've seen, I mean, how Taylor Swift handled it and, and sort of seeing how she navigated, you know, making it really a push for people to register to vote, a push for people to get involved and less of her saying, I'm endorsing Kamala Harris and therefore you should vote for Kamala Harris too. She sort of did it in a graceful way of saying, I'm letting you know who I'm voting for, but, but this should just make you look into politics and, and consider being more politically engaged. All right, Washington Post reporter Sabrina Rodriguez, thank you.